Okay, uh, today we're going to start chapter two, and we're going to get right to it. The very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to lay out the four most important equations that we're going to do today. And those are going to be the equations of motion with constant acceleration. All right, so let's just get right to it. We have A equals VF minus VI over T. We have X equals VF plus VI over 2 times T. And then we have X equals VIT plus 1 half AT squared. And finally, we have VF squared equals VI squared plus 2AX. Now, it's really, really super critical that you have all these concepts that are represented by symbols and it's really, really important that you just don't think of them as symbols, but that you understand them as concepts. So I leapt right in and I just said, okay, blah, 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 here's all, this, here's all the stuff. But you have to come to an understanding of what all this stuff is. So, the first thing, once again, I'm going to want you to hit pause quite extensively. The first question that I have is, what is X? In these equations, what does X mean? Well, in these equations, X is the distance. And what do we use, what unit do we use to measure distance with? Well, we use meters, which, oh, let's make it a lowercase m meters, which is m. And we talked in chapter one about what a meter is. Um, so basically distance, we should all have a good concept of distance. My fingers are some distance apart. Um, two towns are some distance apart. Uh, two galaxies are some distance apart. Although when we get up to galaxies, it could get a little bit confusing. You're going to have to study a little bit of relativity to understand that. But, for right now, we have a pretty good sense of what distance is, and uh, you guys should be comfortable with that. T, that's pretty obvious. T is going to be, hit pause and think, it's going to be time, and of course it is measured in seconds, which is S. And just because of the way that I write, I write that sometimes as a cursive S. So you're going to sometimes look at some of my notes and go, what did he just write? That is my cursive S. And uh, it's done to avoid, I don't know, it's just the way I am. You're going to have to deal with it. All right, now, some new concepts that are relatively familiar. Uh, but a little bit new, and we're going to talk a little bit more about them. VI. What do you think VI stands for? VI is going to stand for the initial, that's what the I means, velocity. So, the I stands for initial, the V stands for velocity, and that's going to be in meters per second. Okay, now, so we have to think about it. It's basically velocity is how many meters you go divided by how long, how many seconds it takes for you to go that distance. 
how many seconds does it take for you to go a certain distance? So it's meters divided by seconds. Now we're going to throw in, um, quite soon, we're going to throw in the concept that velocity is a vector and that the direction of the velocity matters. Actually the direction of distance matters too. Um, so we are going to get into vectors and things are going to get a little bit more complicated. But for right now, for right in this video, I just want to say that the initial velocity is basically meters divided by seconds. Well, you should be able to figure out what VF means. Hit pause. Some of you guys who are good guessers would have gotten that it is final velocity. So it is, so at the beginning of our problem, so what we're going to be doing in every single one of our problems, there's going to be a moment in time when we say, okay, the problem starts now. Well, I should hit right there. But there's going to be a moment in time when the problem starts, and it's going to start right now. And then at some other time, we're going to say, okay, it's done now. So, the initial velocity is how fast is it going when I say start. And the final velocity is going to be how fast it's going when I say done. And again, just like initial velocity, this is going to be also meters per second. Alright, last equation, or last thing that we have up here, we have A, and what does that mean? hit pause. Okay, that's going to be acceleration and again we're going to get into a lot about how um, acceleration really really direction matters, direction matters on acceleration. Now what are the units going to be on acceleration? Well acceleration is going to be the change the change in velocity divided by the change in time. So hit pause and think about it. Well it's going to be meters per second per second. So uh, down here I'm just going to say meters per second per second. But we can write that simpler as meters over seconds squared. So the units of acceleration are going to be meters over seconds squared. All right. So I guess the last thing that I want to say in this video is that if you look, we have four equations. One, two, three, four. And we've got five unknowns. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I want you to look at each one of these equations. How many different variables appear in each individual equation? How many different variables in this equation? How many variables in this equation? How many variables in this equation? How many variables in this equation? Okay, hit pause, think about it. Okay, the answer is that each equation has four variables. Now, oh, I gotta put an A in there. Has four variables. And now we've got five variables over here. So if each equation has four variables, the question is, what, I'm going to go through this quick, but you got to hit pause. Which, so I'm going to go through this quick, hit pause every single time I ask a question. Which variable does not appear in this equation? It's x. x does not appear. How about this equation? a does not appear. How about this equation? VF does not appear. How about this equation? T does not appear. The easiest way to do these is going to be figure out what piece of information you do not care about 
and that's going to tell you which equation to use. If we don't care about x, use this equation. Okay, done for this 10 minute lecture.